Well, hello, Cobby Town friends. Welcome to Southern Sunday Lunch. Hope we get to stay with you all. We've had internet trouble all morning. It just all of a sudden started working about 1130. Um, no Sunday school highlights this morning. I apologize. I was ready to go. No internet. Couldn't even get it to start. Couldn't even open up the app. It was dead. And it said on my phone, SOS. I've never seen it say where the bars are. It popped up SOS. <laughs> Mm-hmm. All right, let's get it going. We're having that chicken and dumplings we talked about, and we're going to make some homemade cornbread dressing because it's not that hard. It's rather simple. So let's do it. Mama, tell them what you're going to do. you got the chicken broth. Chicken broth and get it on, and I'm going to get started for dumplings while you make your bread and dressing. And you're going to put some chicken in that broth too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, and I'm going to make some dressing, and I'm going to sit here and drink coffee with y'all. Today is Palm Sunday, and what a wonderful Sunday it is. I, I hate that we didn't get to have the lesson this morning, but we had a good Sunday school lesson. I'm sure y'all have had Sunday school as well. Here is some cornbread, and here is some biscuit bread. Pone bread, if you will. This ain't going to be biscuits, it's going to be pone bread. I've got a, a black iron skillet in the Easy Bake with some oil in it, getting just as hot as far. Now, I like to start my stuff off in a hot skillet. Some folks tell you not to, or they don't. I want that quick, crackling, crunchy outside. I want that. So I'm going to start it that way. This is a cup of flour and a bit. Maybe a cup and a half. That's what it is. And I'm going to put one cup. See, i got to turn backwards. This must be a left-handed measuring cup. I know y'all think this is my left hand, but it's not. Through the magic of TV, I switch hands. This is my right hand, because everybody says, "John, you eat left-handed." No, this is my right. This is my left hand over here, uh, and it's one cup of buttermilk, and this is whole buttermilk, one whole cup going in there. I don't normally measure. I normally just do that for y'all. So I'm just going to mix this up and see what I got when I get it mixed. Just like this. Now I did think to bring over some water. Um, and I need to put a little oil in here. Mama, hand me that oil by the stove because it needs a little fat in there. This is just tap water. Just brought it over here instead of going to it. Bring the Muhammad to the mountain. Thank you, Mama. And I'm going to put a little oil in this. I wouldn't do this to my biscuits normally. Probably wouldn't hurt nothing. But... This is just a little oil. This is going to be palm bread. This is not biscuits, okay? It's going to be really loose. And I'm going to pour it in the pan. And I'm going to make magic for y'all today. I know you've never seen this before. That's not true. You have because I've done it before. I'm doing a half and half pound. This is going to be half biscuit pound, half cornbread. One skillet, half and half. And I'm going to do that because that's what I'm going to do with it. I'm going to make dressing. I'm not eating it. Which you could eat it that way. If you got someone in your family who likes pound bread, we have a friend who likes biscuit bread or pound bread with their pinto beans, you could easily do a half a pound of each in one skillet. And I'm going to show you how to do that. You couldn't do half biscuits and half cornbread, but you could do half pound bread. Because it's loose and it's going to pour in there. That's the pound bread made up. Oil, a little bit of buttermilk, and a little bit of water just to loosen it up. I'm going to use my same spatula. And this is a cup of cornmeal and a half a cup of white lily flour. Going right in here. And likewise, I'm going to put just a tinge of oil. I'm not going to put no egg in this. Because I'm not going to eat it as cornbread. I'm eating it as a dressing. Cornbread dressing. Some people think it takes a long time to make cornbread dressing. It don't. It just takes as long as it takes to make a pound of cornbread. Another cup of buttermilk going right in. In stir, stir. <clears throat> 
it's going to need some water too because it's, it's too tight. Can y'all see my bow? Can y'all see what I'm doing? Let's go down here a little bit deeper. There you go. How's that? Sometimes the camera don't exactly do what I think it should do. Getting this good and loose. Get it all mixed in. This is akin to hot water cornbread, except I'm not using hot water. Hot water cornbread is just cornmeal and hot water. And you just make it, it makes, we pour it out in a skillet, and it makes a lacy like cornbread. And you fry it. Um, it was a depression cornbread. Back in the day when they had very little to work with, so they worked with what they had. And that's what they had. So there's my cornbread mixed up quickly and my pound bread mixed up quickly. Y'all hold right there. Watch that cornbread. Don't let it go no more. Now my oil's moving around in the skillet. Just dancing around. That's what you look for. You look for that dancing oil, smoking oil. So it's smoking hot. Have you ever heard your granny say, Papa say it's smoking hot? That's what they're talking about. That grease is smoking hot. And it's quivering. You can see it at an angle. It's just quivering along. Now I'm going to need this spatula in a second. But I'm going to lay them down right there and make a mess for just a second. Now I've got biscuit pound in here, cornbread in here. And they go together, one big happy family. And I'm going to make a half and half loaf of bread, pound of bread. One big happy family. Once you get them in there, now you can take your spatula and scrape them. Got plenty of oil. It's, gonna, it's bubbling up around them. Going to make them edges just perfect. Just perfect. Our biscuit pound, we're going to finish it off right like that. Y'all ever done a half and half pound? Y'all see me do it. There it is. Half biscuit pound, half cornbread, already cooking on the edges. I'm going to put it in the oven. We're going to bake that at 350 for about 20 minutes in this little, uh, in this little oven. Now in your big oven, it might take around 30. By the way, it's one of those days, let me get a rag. It's one of those days, we've got the screen door open, the screen, or the glass up in the screen door. And I've got a window open in the sunroom to get a lot of cross ventilation, to get all the winter germs, and you know, just get it fixed up. So Maggie's here in every car, every sound, and she's going to be a little noisy today. Y'all just bear with her. The wind tore up yesterday. Sounds are tearing her up today. It's rough being Queen Maggie. You don't believe me, ask her. Okay, now I, this is some onion we've been working on. So this is some I chopped up yesterday for those hot dogs. We didn't eat it all. And I'm just going to chop the rest of this up right quick. I chop mine up by slicing it, then chopping it. It works great for me. I don't know how you all do it. I've seen people do some this way and that way and that way. And they have this knee. I tried that and mine ends up being slices or dices or the wrong thing every time. So I don't fool with that mess. I slice it, dice it, I'm done with it. Are you making this water anymore? Um, no. I shouldn't, Mama. Not unless you add well, some to your brown. I can, yeah. So leave me a little bit of water. We'll put water, chicken broth in. 
and um, celery, sage. You know. You know, all the fixings for cornbread dressing. I'm gonna make my dumplings up in that same bowl you made the biscuit. I figured you would. Because we ain't wasting no dishes, are we, Mama? No. There's gonna be plenty of onion. I probably won't even use all this. I do want you to see Mama make up the, the dumplings. I'm not gonna let her start without you. So, you can see me chop onions and celery a lot of times. So, I've got a little celery left here. And i got a whole new one here. So, I'm going to be chopping on celery and onions. While you all watch Mama stir up chicken and dumplings. She's got her mat out. And Mama, let me get you front and center here. Can y'all say, Mama, that's what's important today? Okay, I'm just going to use this same bowl that he had biscuit in and stir it up. Got a cup of flour and about a half. I'm going to be like him. Well, not hardly a half. And I need the buttermilk down this way. You want a cup of buttermilk? Yeah. This is just whole cultured buttermilk. I try to use whole cultured all the time. It's the reason sometimes ours is thick. Sometimes y'all get worried if there's something wrong with it. It's just thick buttermilk, folks. If you use whole cultured, you're going to have thick buttermilk. And you can just thin it down with some whole milk or some water. Wrinkles. Now, Mama will leave y'all. Don't, don't leave us just because she leaves you. Okay. And this right here is I've got a ladle of the chicken broth. I'm going to add my buttermilk. Well, Where did my... you go in the other room? Well, yeah. add my buttermilk and I'm going to add a little bit of this chicken broth. A lot of people says, oh, oh, but that gives a, I think a little chicken flavor to, you dump them? to the dumplings itself. So that's what I and what I had was my cooked chicken that I had uh, left, and I've got the broth and chicken, and I didn't have enough broth for my dumplings, so what I did is I added a box of the chicken stock that we get at our save a lot, so I added that to it. So that's what's in there right now. And all I'm doing is going to mix this up. And I'm going to have to add flour because with my broth and buttermilk, I've got too much. And all that's doing is this. Have you got the sage down already? Um, no, but I used it. Oh, I was going to sprinkle some poultry seeds in those sage. You want me to get that for you? Yeah. I've got I've got them right here because I just used them the other night. We made that uh, casserole. And all I'm going to do now is just sprinkle some flour on the board here. Ah, I forgot my butter. I'm being a mess. Where'd you put my bowl? Uh, you've set it down yonder. No, you brought it over and set it down. Oh, you said the water. I forgot my butter. I was going to be in a terrible shape. <laughs> yeah, you got to put butter in yours. I didn't put butter in mine. But I didn't have to. So I'm going to use about a half a stick of butter. Good thing it's softened up. I got busy of getting my stuff out and about forgot it. Mm-mm-mm. You'd have been saying, what's wrong with that dumpling? My old mind is just not working like it should. What's the matter with them dumplings? Yeah. 
Are you in that camera? Is there a little woman in there making dumplings? I see her now. Okay. <laughs> Don't let her get away. You gotta watch her like a hawk. I see her a little bit. Don't make that mistake. Mix your butter with your dry flour. I got in a big hurry to get the butter milk, I think. Fred, I'm gonna use it out. No, oh, no, I just got my mind to racing. It didn't want to cooperate with it. Now I started out with just a little bit of water in this bottom of this bowl, not near as much as I had a while ago. That's just to create some steam. That's all I'm looking for. This will seem like Thanksgiving. I'm breathing, I guess I make mistakes. Oh, yeah, Mama. That's what you always tell me. That's yeah. life, Buttercup. Suck it up. I reckon. It's just the way life is. At least Every... you didn't turn your Sprite over today. Well, I ain't had it out yet. Give me a minute. <laughs> it may happen. It may yet happen. It does sometimes. There's no wind today, folks. Whoa, that wind yesterday. There's trees down. Our roads look like they've been... The trees, limbs, and little twigs, and it's a mess. I think that one tree, it just barely did get out of the road enough you could get by. <laughs> or somebody's moved it this morning. Yeah, early. they might have to get through there. Little pine tree moss. Well, it wasn't that little. Yeah, I mean, it was a 30 foot, 40 foot tall one, but it wasn't big, it wasn't around. big around. It wasn't huge. Somebody could have moved it with a truck or something. Did y'all have any downed trees? Or I'm sure that's what happened to our internet this morning was that wind, probably a line broke, or I'm just glad they got it fixed as quick as they did. I told Mama, I said, we might have to have chicken and dumplings again because we ain't going to be able to film today. But we had to fix them today, so. Right. So it's just a great thing that it did come around. We got better over there, Handy. I set it back over there and I can't get it because I've got my okay. hands in the flour. If you move the thing again, I'm out of it. No, Mama. No, no, it's no. you. I've moved around. It's you. I don't know how you move with a, with a flare board there. Oh, I don't think I've moved. I must not have been in it. <laughs> You're like a house fly. I must not have been in it. Now. No, I looked while ago and seen you in it. Oh, well, I might have moved an inch or two there, not knowing it. So here's my dough. I had it a little thin, and I've worked more flour in it. And this is just dumpling, so I'm not going to roll and be picky and all of that stuff keep working you ain't gonna roll and be picky no dough roller i'm i'm just gonna use my hands old timey way All right, reaching over. Well, you got drained this. I did. I didn't know you want. You can get your scoop out of that. I'll get me a scoop, but I'm gonna get the rest of this. Because mm -hmm. I didn't, after making that chicken noodle soup, I didn't have enough broth for dumplings. So a lot of times I use a pizza cutter, but since I've got my good thing out, I'm gonna use a case knife, so I won't damage my pad. And that's all I'm going to do to that. No roller, just the hands. Quick and easy. 
none of ketchup on my bowl. So in my bowl is a little bit of water, onions, and celery. A little bit of poultry season, a little bit of sage, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. And I'm going to put a little chicken broth in it, and I'm going to put a little butter in it, and I'm going to put it in the microwave to get ready for cornbread dressing. And all I'm doing is taking this case knife, which is not sharp, and running down here. A lot of times if I'm using wax paper or my older one, I'll use a pizza cutter, which is really fast and saves a lot of time. And I usually just cut, rough cut it. I don't measure or nothing about but I do try to have them all about the same so they'll puff up and cook the same. Now, Mama, you got chicken in here. You want chicken? I put chicken in it, yeah. You want me to take it out? No. You don't like chicken in yours? I'll eat around it. <laughs> Mama don't like chicken in her chicken and dumplings. I go to a restaurant and get them. Used to years ago, me and my oldest sister, we'd go and she'd order dumplings without chicken and I'd order dumplings without chicken. Near her and either one eat the chicken much. Not me. I like the chicken. All I'm doing is getting my dumplings and I'm stacking them too high, more than my hand can hold. And all I'm going to do now is walk over here and drop them into my boiling pot. Turn that Turn it on high? Yeah. Alright, I'll bring you up here and show you what Mama's doing. Hold on two seconds. It's going to be a little travel trick here. All right, Mama, tell them about this part. This is all I'm doing is finding a hole in the there and dropping it in the boiling dumplings. Not stirring them. Try not to. Hope. You move them, but you don't stir them. She'll show you the difference. Dumplings, you just don't mess around with them once you get them in there. Y'all probably hear that roar, and that's the celery, onions, and I didn't put no butter in that. But that's okay, I'll put it in afterwards, it'll melt. This is, and I'm afraid this ain't going to turn out good since I didn't get my flour blended. I mean my butter blended. Mama, it will be perfect. What makes you think it has to be in a certain order like that? Huh? What? You, you put butter in. Right there, how about that and you get in your face? Right here. I know, but that's a big that's what you had over here. I had a little <laughs> one too. Do you want me to get one? No. I don't see right one. Here it is. Oh, I was trying to say, I didn't see one. I know I had it. What makes you think just because you didn't put the butter in first, it's in the mix? But it didn't blend <laughs> in. You mix it with that blender and get it like little beads. You're going to take that hard, ain't you, Mama? Yeah. You're going to take that hard, ain't you? You gonna sneeze? Yeah. <coughs> Bless you. She goes out of the whole house to sneeze. All right. So when you're doing dumplings, you don't stir them. You just kind of nudge them. And what I'm doing is I'm making a place for some new dumplings to be dropped because she's on her way. Got another hand. Yes, ma'am. There you go. Chicken and dumplings. For the first time in my life, Mama's making actual chicken and dumplings and not just dumplings. There's chicken in there, well, folks. We always have chicken separate, but never in this mix. The reason I said, Mama, there's chicken in here. There's chicken in that there pot. I think somebody made too much up. Did they? Yeah. Have a talk with them. 
I'm going to file her out later. You're going to you're gonna see her about it later? Yeah, missing things. And not putting the battery in? You're going to have a good talk to her after this video is over with, with her? She's going to be kind of upset when I get through. <laughs> She's upset now. Mama made a mistake, folks. Didn't put that battery in there at the right time. But I'm going to tell you, you're going to be able to tell the difference. It's going to be perfect. Going to be perfect, Mama. Sure. Here's the last little bit. <clears throat> Can you use dumplings the next day? Well, you sure can. You may have to put a little milk in them, a little water, but you can sure heat them back up. But they're not as good. They're not. They're not. But you can. Oh, yeah. That's a big old kettle. I need to go look to the sink more shut cleaning. Now right up here is you can see that in the microwave. See how that saran wrap or plastic wrap domes up and that just basted those onions and celery and gets them right where you want them to be. What's them dumplings? Now they won't take them long to fix. Not fix not long at all. Not long at all. I try to do that to you all. Have minimal movement. Not a good thing. I need one of those, well, camera people. That's what I need is a camera person. Some of the creators have got overhead views front views, side views. They follow them around the room. We got a cell phone on a stick. Pepper, and I just filled that pepper up, Mama. That's filled up with some good McCormick pepper right there. there you go. We use tons and tons of pepper. I buy it in... I've done put it up. No, I haven't. I buy it in this size. And then I fill them up because the little ones don't quite get it. Um, I do like the McCormick because it doesn't have powder. You can see here. So that's the difference in your peppers a lot of time. We do use our store brand a lot if we run out, but it is powderier. This is no powder, and that's the reason I buy it because it, it, you don't have the fine powder. And you know how many mama sneezes and carries on anyway. Well, that's why it's just a little less of a powder flying in the air. You all remember when we were coughing every time. I sprinkled the least little bit of pepper. It's because it's full of that powder. Let's see what y'all are doing today. Take the dumplings the next day, fry them in butter. Oh. And eat them with cottage cheese. Well, Teresa, that sounds good. Is the cornbread biscuit palm bread ready? I put it in 20 minutes. Do another 10. So it's going to take about 30 in the easy bake today. John and Mama, Tootsie's Cornbread. Nola. Thank you, Nola. Nola's putting on some recipes for y'all. Hi, John and Mama. Hi, Joanne. How are you? Hey, Cheryl. John. Oh, that's Nola putting another recipe. Uh, I love a lot of black pepper. Oh, I do too. Wonder When I put it on my plate, oh, I'm going to put some black pepper on it. Hello, John and Mama. Hey, Brenda. I can smell them up here. Oh, in Burlington, Kentucky. Well, the windows are open, Judy. Oh, hi there, Sandy. How are you? Um, now, let's go ahead and, and save y'all some typing. We know we're eating, we're eating a bread lunch today. We know it's nothing but carbs. You know, chicken and dumplings is nothing but biscuits, boiled biscuits, and we're making dressing, which is nothing but biscuits and cornbread with a little bit of chicken uh, juice on it. That's all you can say. A little bit of celery, a little bit of onion. 
But we don't eat this every day. This is high carb. It's not healthy, but it sure is delicious. And it is 100% totally Southern approved. It's Southern approved, folks. We have chicken and dumplings probably four times a year. We normally have it on Christmas. We normally have it uh, January, February, somewhere in the winter months. Chicken and dumplings is just good. And uh, we didn't have it this year. So it's up here in April, and we're having chicken and dumplings today. So we made us get three times in this year, but we don't have it all the time. I love your method of doing the onions and the celery in the microwave. It is, it, it's wonderful, Pam. Uh, you put your onions, your celery, a little bit of water, some chicken stock broth, whatever you got. Put it in there. If you're doing Thanksgiving, do turkey broth or stock, whatever you got. And um, they're so tender and they're so good. And this whole house right now, it smells like Thanksgiving and it just stopped. And I'm going to go get it out, and I'm going to add some butter in it and stir it in. I didn't put it in to start with, but you don't have to. You can put it in afterwards. I'm going to just pull that big old purple knife and put it, it was right here. Y'all didn't see it, just right out of camera. She had it. Didn't you, Mama? Yeah. It was on that cutting board. I, 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 I'll get it. It's not healthy. No, Mama, I'll get that. You chill. I don't like her lifting heavy stuff out of the microwave over top of her head like that. I don't like a over the range microwave for that reason. Uh, for me, it don't matter. For Mama, I don't like it. I'm sure, but I, I can just sure. see her pouring that on her. So y'all, Mama, come, come over here and sing. Come over here and sing. Come over here and sing your dance, and let me get the microwave. And I gotta get some of this butter here. Now I'm gonna show you. Oh my goodness. This is just like Thanksgiving. Oh. Where that domed up, now it'll pull down in there. Okay? And that's fine. Now this ain't gonna look none too pretty, and some of y'all gonna say, what is that hot mess he's made? This is sage, is what you're going to see, that you're not going to like the looks of it. And a little bit of poultry seasoning. It does look like a green soup pea mess. Now take your, your plastic wrap away from your face, away from your body, and pull it off first. Do you see how that steam? That's what you don't want. Now I'm going to put about a good two tablespoons of butter in. Yes, that is. And see that, that pepper? There's a little black pepper in there. There's um, sage. There is poultry season. And it does look like muddy water. But it's not. And it smells. I guess if you're here and you can smell it, it offset the ugliness of it. Offset the ugliness. But uh, it's just what it is. Look at that. Look down in that, look down in that bowl. Where are you going to mix your dressing? Um, any bowl you give me. I don't care, Mama. And I'll probably have to have some more liquid. I can tell right now. Well, no more I'll put some bouillon in a hot water. If you're a little low on liquid, put you some chicken bouillon in a, in a kettle of hot water or in this thing right here. And it will serve the same purpose. Can of cream of chicken soup. I need that anyway. I put that in here right now. Mama's going to get us a can of cream of chicken soup. We're going to add it in. Yeah, I know I'm stirring with a case knife. Y'all call this a butter knife or a case knife? That will tell me where you're from. Yeah, which one? This one. I'll use the big one just because I like the idea of using the bigger one. Uh, is this a case knife or is this a butter knife? I That's know. a case knife to me. It's a case knife. If you're from northeast Tennessee, northeast, southeast Kentucky, I know y'all are case knife. It could be a flathead screwdriver too if you need it for that. Um, mm -hmm. You could use this to pry the drawer where your tater masher is because you know it's going to get stuck in there. You can take this and put it up in there and pry the tater masher out. 
this is a case knife in case you need it you got it um, and a cream of chicken soup, okay. chicken soup. you want to add it to that yeah I was putting here what's hot y'all use case knives for other things you will find a case knife in most people's barns uh, you'll find case knives in um, garages maybe even in the trunk of your car depending on what you're doing. You can pop plants with this. If you go to the cemetery, you can use this to cut the stir foam <laughs> out of your side pots. Uh, case knife is a handy little thing to have in case you need it. Uh, now, now butter knife. Case knife I put with that don't come back in my kitchen. Do you hear? If it goes out this kitchen, it don't come back in the kitchen. You leave it in the barn, you leave it in the garage. That's fine, because you're going to need it again. Um, my granny kept a case knife, and... Did you put butter in that already? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. A case knife and an old butcher knife that had the tip broke off of it in an apple tree down by the garden year-round. It was just in the wedge of that tree. When she was down there and needed to cut a cabbage, or that old chop knife was down there but it was broke off they make them that way now um, I've seen knives in stores that got the, the they're chopped off you know there's no point on them there's no point to that knife there's no point <laughs> I've never used one of them but it would scare me a little bit I wouldn't know well I guess it'd be alright I don't know I just never have used one with no tip on it no chop no point on it y'all use those knives with no points on them I think the Pioneer Woman has them. I think Mama Sue has one. Mama Sue, how you like your knife? Because I don't know if I could use it. Why is it called the case knife? In case you need it, Susan. I really don't know. I don't know. That's what I don't know. And just in case you need it. There is a man's, well, a woman's knife that they carry in their pocket. It's a case brand, but we've always just called. You say, "Hand me a case knife." We know what you're talking about. A butter knife out of the drawer. I've never heard it called a butter knife. Around here, we call them case knives. I've heard Mama say, "Is that my good case knife?" Is your cornbread, biscuit bread, this pound bread? Right here, Mama calls these a butter knife, but these are spreaders. These offset butter knives, as you call them. That's what cheese ball, butter knife. So we call these a butter spreader or offset butter spread. See, that's we've got a bunch of these too. But these are called butter knives. We just call them case knives. Mama, your bread's got to be done. It's been in there for a millennial. I think it is. I need your pads back. I have to get out more of You can have one of these. I'm still working on this green concoction down here. It's not brown yet. It don't have to be brown for dressing. You don't want it too brown for dressing. And I probably could have started out with a cold skillet I today. You make a little bit for that smaller skillet. I probably could have started out with a cold skillet today so it wouldn't be as crunchy on the bottom, but we like to crunchy in our dressing. We don't avoid it. Now, let's What's look at that? this. I'm trying. Here, pull your thing. Let's give this a look, see. And y'all, some of y'all probably doubted me when I poured that in the same skillet. It worked. It works every time, folks. Use this, it's Let your me wheel. Take that out, put it on the plate so you can work with it, cut uh, it off. If you want to flip it, yeah. See, here's the biscuit, and here's the cornbread. Side to side. There's a line right down the middle. Mama's going to dump it up, folks. So we can let it cool mainly. Because that, if you leave it in that black cast iron skillet, it'll stay hot for two hours. But see there? Here's your line. There's your cornbread, there's your biscuit bread. You can see just as plain as day, but it all joined up to make one big happy bread family. And uh, the reason I've done that 
is I need a little bit of biscuit bread and I need a little bit of cornbread, but I didn't need a whole one of each because we're just making a small thing of dressing here. So let's go ahead and cut it. It's good and hot. Let's cut it to see what it looks like on the inside too. You'll see. It's hot. Don't take me long to look at biscuit bread cornbread combos. <laughs> Biscuit bread, cornbread, made in the same little skillet. Now, let's get our big Tupperware special out. Let's come right over here into our mixture. And this is going to bake some more, but I'm just crumbling them up. Mm. Thin, thin. Yeah, you like it thin. We want it to hurry. Thin, you want to do muffins? Muffins will be quick and easy. Or you can use them little bitty ones if you want to. So we're done high. And I'm going to go ahead. Come on. I'm going to go ahead and pour our mixture in. Put a good portion of it. Just gonna mix him up. Now remember, I put sage and I put poultry seasoning in our liquid here. So it may need, did y'all see that flip? I hope you didn't, it's embarrassing. It didn't get me, but it went straight up my iron. Mama, will that fit in there? Yes, sir. Wow, that's big. I said yes, sir. I've got it straight. I hope it does now. I made that one. Yeah. Well, wow. She's got the biggest pan, and it's going to fit in the easy bag. Yeah. I made muffins in there, so it works. So now, let's get us a little bit more of our bread. Get more cornbread. Yes, ma'am, I'm going to. Whew. It don't take me long to look at that. It's warm hot. Warm what, it, hon? Little. A little on the warm side, Mama. Now, remember I told you all back at Christmas, and you don't have to stand and crumble that bread forever. This hot liquid... It, it'll mush that bread right up. I mean, you, you're you wasting some good times. I'm going to pour all of it. Oh, my goodness. Daredevil. Oh, yeah. I'll pour them. Living right on the edge. If you ain't living well, on you the edge. got enough bread. If you ain't living on the edge, you're taking up way too much room. What well, if you ain't got enough bread to do it with? Mama, Mom, I got bread. I've got plenty of bread. Me and Mama have this discussion every time. Get you a spoon, and you get to worrying about the flavor. And you tell me what to do. Say, John, put this in there. I think it needs sage. Yeah, I can tell by looking at it, it needs some sage. It needs probably a douse of poultry seasoning. I didn't find the poultry seasoning, did Mama, you? Mama, you used it. No, I didn't. I used that sage. Well, what did you do with my poultry seasoning? I ain't had it. Mama, you talk and talk now. Yeah, how did it get over? It did not levitate. I don't think you put it in. I, I did. Y'all seen me. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. You, you, you don't even know the... You might own, as well use that on. You don't even know your own powers. I know what I forget. I put a good tablespoon of each, and that's the end of that. We're going to have to buy some more of that. Going to need a little bit more of our bread bread. I guess it's crumbly. But see, look at that good biscuits. Ooh. 
Now you seen how I just mix that up and poured it in there. You can eat that for biscuits in the morning, people. You don't have to fool with making them out. Put your pone on a biscuit bread. You see, I didn't cut no butter in it or nothing. All I done was poured a little oil in it, and look how light and fluffy those biscuits came up. Now this is getting to be just the right consistency. A little loose, but not too loose. Stir it good. It's got a good color. Got a good color. Let's see if I can find me a tasting spoon. I got you one right there. Well, I'll save it for the next tasting. All right, let's try it out. My daddy loved it just like this, and he said we ruined it by cooking it, which we did probably. To him, it was ruined. Mm. That's bingo spot on mama. Bingo spot on. Put some more sage in it. I put poultry and more sage. Can y'all see that? What it looks like? That's what you want. Mm-hmm. We have a spray to pan over here. Do you want anything else in it? No, Oh, you got me a scooper. Look at you. Mama's got it all fancied up here. Mama says good. And you just scoop. If you've never made your dressing in muffin tins, you've missed out on some easy. You've also missed out on, you got that family who everybody wants a corner piece of the dressing. I want the corner. I want the corner. There's only four of them. Come on, people. Now you've got, you'll have 12 of them because these all make corners, round corners. Because they're crunchy all the way around. They're delicious. Now what I could do, and I probably will do, there's enough of this. I'll just freeze it. Pan. Let's just freeze this. We'll have it another day for a quick supper. We'll just freeze this because we won't eat 12 of these. Oh, mercy. I got news for you. But I'll save the rest of this. To the oven we go. Let me see, Mama. Mama, let me see. <laughs> see, that's how you do, it, folks. Scoop them up in your muffin tins. Pop them in the oven. They're already done. There's nothing in this that can't be eaten right now. There's not a raw egg in it. There's nothing that you can't eat of our dressing at this very minute. So we're going to pop this in the oven, let them brown up. Call it a day. We make them in muffin tins like this. A lot of times when it's just us, for one thing, it's quicker. Another thing, you do get that extra crunchy all the way around. Those onions are tender. The celery's tender. The taste is wonderful because it's done heated up all those dried spices and put them all the way through it. Those onions are just as soft and tender. Yeah, here's a clean one. You can wipe this with. Oh, it's hot. Oh, I just That's what I like. Good hot tissue rice. So, look at this. Look at this biscuit bread, people. Now that's a good thick biscuit. Now you could have made a whole pound of this. See, it's just a pound of biscuit bread, and it tastes like a biscuit. It'll eat like a biscuit. It'll sop up gravy like a biscuit. If you ain't a biscuit maker, and you think, I am not kidding y'all, she just took my plate. Let me hold them. A half a pony biscuit. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I just barely got it off there to show y'all. I won't pick it up again. <laughs> Never enter my mind. 
No. <laughs> and when you stop my poultry season, that didn't enter your mind either. Yeah. I don't think I stole it. I don't remember doing it. Everybody on here is going to tell you he put poultry seasoning in his celery and onions on that counter right there, and it was there. And he looked up, and you took it, Mama. I don't think I did. <laughs> I ain't guilty, am I? Guilty, she is. But if you ain't a good biscuit maker, put you a, a cup of flour, cut in a half of flour. And I put a cup of buttermilk, and I put about a half a cup of water, and I put about three tablespoons of cooking oil, just vegetable oil. Put it right in there, and you all seem to stir it up and make it good and loose and pour it in a cast iron skillet with a little oil in it. You can make breakfast in a cinch on an early school morning or when you just don't want to fool with getting the flour out and doing the biscuits and Oh my dumplings. Now this is not yellow dumplings because we I don't put no food color in it. I didn't have a big fat hand to cook. This was just the chicken bread. If you want them to be prettier, you can put two drops of food coloring in it and it changes the whole concept. But Mama never did, so that to me is a good rich dumpling. That's what I look for. Is a good that color right there. That's perfect for a good dumpling. And I guarantee you, my mama didn't put no food coloring in hers. No. And I guarantee you, your grandma didn't put no food coloring in hers. Well, if theirs were, was yellow, they was yellow from a big old fat hen. Hens, a big hen will make better dumplings. Come on, Mama, sit down. That was a chicken breast. With if we're going to make dumplings, like if we're just setting out to make dumplings, we will get a hen, a whole if chicken. I can find it down if we here. find a good one, and we'll cook it. And we'll cook the bone broth, we'll cook the fat, we'll cook all that, and you will have a lot more yellow uh, fat in it. Now, let's talk about this, this today. Last week, Mama made. Thursday, Monday, Tuesday. She cooked four, five, six breasts. We have eaten on this all week, and we've not we've not had the same meal. I even made a quick chicken salad the other day for lunch, so we could just have chicken salad. I set it back on the stove, so we'll stay. Uh, we've had what all have we fixed with that, Mama? We've had uh, chicken noodle soup. Chicken homemade chicken noodle soup. Chicken salad. Just cooked chicken. We had cooked chicken one night. And uh, chicken dumplings. Chicken and dumplings. And there's still a piece or two of chicken. Oh, one, there's one breast. <laughs> one breast left. And we'll eat that with some barbecue sauce or take it for lunch or eat it for lunch tomorrow. Um, it's good. And I Just cooked chicken. Chicken broth for my dumplings. So I want a bowl. Them. If you're getting that from me, I. Huh? You want a bowl? Well, I'll, I'll eat that. I normally eat my chicken dumplings in a bowl, but this will be cooler, quicker, and it's got a—it's a deep plate. <laughs> you got some sweet tea. No, I don't. A sun tea without sweet tea, Mama? Well, there's sun in there, but I didn't. Well, if those are sun. We'll drink it. That's your tradition. Of course, y'all know me. I gotta have some coffee, even if I have sweet tea or Sprite or anything else. Those dumplings look delicious. Well, thank you, Becky. Great idea to put your muffin pan. Oh yeah, it's it, 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 and it's just the right consistency. And they cook so quick. You know, you know, if you put all that thick. Uh, in a loaf pan or in a cake pan, it takes a good hour to get a good brown. This will be done quicker. We may not be able to show y'all because it's going to take another 15. It's going to take a while. But y'all seen it right up till the time it comes out. It'll just come out all crisp and brown and wonderful. And That's okay, don't take it out. You'll just slow the process. It ain't been there long enough. It's just like it looks. Yeah, it ain't been there. I can, I can tell you it takes a minute. Um, 
but this is a good way to serve them and it's also a good way to freeze them and a good way to have them you can have these uh, once you bake them you can freeze them again and have them or you can save them for two or three days and eat them it's just bread and chicken uh, hi John. hey Paula how are you I'm getting messages at the top messages at the bottom what are you making Donna we are making chicken and dumplings in dressing now you can throw a green bean in here if you want to we don't we didn't um, self rising and flour, yes. White lily, self rising and flour. We almost always use white lily, self rising and flour. Occasionally we'll use plain flour or all purpose flour. If the recipe specifically says plain or all purpose, and sometimes we'll use plain or all purpose flour for gravy because it don't foam up as much. But for the most part, even our gravy has got self rising and flour. Yeah, and that's what, is that all the tea there is? No, there's some more. I wish, I thought you just want something to drink now. Oh, you're not drinking tea? No, I'm going to drink a Sprite. You heard it here first, folks. Mama, you look tired. Are you tired? I know. I ain't done nothing. <laughs> you just kind of... <laughs> just collapsed when I said that. Yeah, when you sat down, that was it. You butterfly <laughs> landing. Butterflies landed. Yeah. I guess we could go ahead and eat it about as dumplings while we're waiting yeah. on the dressing. Yeah. I can uh, just sit down and just collapse. <laughs> get you going to do cranberry dress? You going to do cranberry sauce with us today? Yeah. We came with the dressing. You always do. I just did. Now I'm going to drink none of y'all's sweet tea. Mama, mommy. I can go get a can and we can open it. You want the dumplings sit over here so we meet them? A bite of them. Sure. Yeah, go ahead, Mama. Go right ahead. Oh, my. And get a cranberry and I'll open it and we'll have chicken and dumplings. Now, this, folks, this is new. For Mama to have chicken in her dumplings, that is unheard of. Um, Sherry had them in the broth or we wouldn't have done that because for the most part mama just wants dumplings I'll have to pull her some out here just dumplings no chicken please that looks chicken less you're you all anybody know anybody who wants chicken and dumplings would no, hold the chicken so she just really wants dumplings Uh oh. Are we without cranberry sauce? I don't get the lid I know, Mama. What's happening here? We eat cranberry sauce a lot. Just for stovetop stuffing or anything. We'll have cranberry sauce. Now look at that, folks. That's as good as downtown. Chicken, dumplings, chicken and dumplings. Right there they are. Mm-hmm. Mama's is just one little bitty piece of chicken there, but mostly dumplings. Good and good for you. And the dressing will be done probably about 12 or 13 minutes. I hate to hold you all up for that. Uh, Hello, I don't Michael. Have cranberry sauce. I might have to cook some cranberry sauce. Well, I, Mama, we'll have to do something. Either get the ocean spray or cook I, us up some wine or I've something. I've got in the freezer cranberries. Yes, ma'am. I remember. Cranberries is hard to get a hold of one year, and we we stock up. I put some in there this year. You want to bless it, and we'll. Yes, sir. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for this wonderful meal. We thank you for these precious hands that prepared it, dear Lord. And dear Lord, we thank for the nourishment of our bodies. And watch over us, lead God, and direct us. Put a hedge of protection on each and every one of us. And dear Lord, we just pray that everything that's done will be done in your name, and your will, and your glory. And dear Lord, be with all the prayer requests out there, those spoken and unspoken. In your precious name we pray. Amen. Amen. 
Now we've talked about this a while ago, so don't be surprised. Don't be when I show you just the amount of pepper that I like to put on my dumplings. We've ate quite a bit of cranberries lately. I'm I know, that's sure. what I said. We eat them all the time, so. i sure I have a couple more cans. That's what I get for doing my own thinking. That's two mistakes I've made today. <laughs> well, I go to the store a lot, and I'll say, you need anything? You'll say, no. Mm -hmm. But then when you go to the store, you go up and down the aisle, and you go, oh, cranberries. I need cranberries. I walk up and down the aisles till I get everything. Right. So I like a little black pepper on mine. As my daddy used to say, I could have fixed you anything. You've got so much pepper on it, you can't taste it. Oh no, Mama. These taste just like your dumplings. Mm hmm. Mm. I didn't put much chicken for you. Yeah. Need to tell poor little Justin I had dumplings. <laughs> Nobody wants to hear you had them, they want to hear you got them. Ain't that the truth? Mm -hmm. Say, come on, Justin, get your dumplings. Mm. Maybe the dressing will be browned. Mm -mm. It's not doing nothing yet. Mm -mm. It takes it a minute, folks. But, we'll have a little dressing. We'll have a little dressing. We need dressing just like for snacks. Oh, yeah. And I'll eat it with a little, a little bite of dumplings in a minute. You know how they have the courses in the meal, you know, your appetizers uh -huh. and then your salad and then your... So we'll have to eat our... Well, I'm just, just need, like an appetizer, need another round. I'm just doing a little tasting for them, but I'm going to eat my dressing with my dumplings because that's mm. my favorite. That's what I say, appetizer, and then a, we ain't got a salad, but we'll have the main dish when the dressing gets done. <laughs> we won't hold y'all for it because it's still not there. Mm -mm. But y'all can imagine what it looks like. Love black pepper. I do too, Sharon. Enjoy your meal. Thank you, Susie. Hey, Tammy, how are you? What are y'all eating today? Are you ready? Looks delicious. God bless you both. Well, thank you, Bonnie. Mmm. Sylvia says, mmm. Yum. Green beans would be great with it, too. Yes, it would, Shannon. We, if we're going to have a vegetable with chicken dumplings, it would be green beans, you're right. But when I eat dumplings, I usually just eat. If I was your neighbor, I would just happen to pop over. <laughs> you could be watching the live, Deborah, and just come over and say, uh, Can I borrow a cup of dumplings? <laughs> oh, Adam says, We can wait on the dressing. He likes a lot. Yeah. He likes a few minutes, Adam. Uh, great idea, Mama. Meal course, yum. Hi, hey, Bridget. Sandy loves like black pepper. A lot of people like black pepper. Y'all hear those birds? Because the front window's open. You've got front and back both. I want some circulation. I want... I'm Mama, gonna, can't you get in here? Get over here. I'm going to have to get me some water. I'm going to have to get a, a big old <laughs> sinker like you put on a fishing pole and hang it on Mama's chin. Or He's something. threatened to get, to get a... A big chain or no weight to go on the front of me so I don't pitch backwards and get up. Beef pot pies. Rhonda, those are good. Thank you for the stars, Tammy. What's that? That's a little picture that comes with those stars. It's neat. Mm -hmm. Having a sandwich sandwich. Oh, Glenda, those are good too. I like them. Folks, the dressing has not even started browning yet. But it'll take it a minute. It'll take it a minute. Chicken salad sandwiches. Gail, it's the perfect time of year for them. We've had these Roman tomatoes. I whipped up a little quick chicken salad the other day and had it for lunch. It was delicious. I think I'm going to barbecue some chicken on the grill. Jennifer, it's a great day to grill out. There's no wind here. Boy, it was windy yesterday. I'm talking about... 
it really wasn't safe to be out there. You could easily get hurt out there yesterday with the tree limb. Because they were flying. Trees falling everywhere. The limbs was, I mean. And they were flying. You could have got hit by a flying squirrel that the really neighbor, wasn't even a flying porch squirrel. The porch furniture blowed off their porch up there. Did you notice it earlier? No, I wasn't. I wasn't prowling at the neighbors this morning. I wasn't prowling either. I just looked up there and their porch furniture was on the upper. Mama was just nosing around at the neighbor's house. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> Her porch furniture was blown off. We had some wrought iron stuff blown over in the front yard. It's the it's over because I didn't pick it up. Wrought that's, iron though, that's that's heavy stuff. We've got those wrought iron chairs. There's nothing for the wind to catch in, but it's the it will. Do you want to see if they're brown now that you can show them, Mama? I don't much think they don't hardly look brown even through that door. Most of the stuff looks brown quick through there. I love Pepper John. I do too, Mary. Mary Jane, I like it. No, it's not even. Bring it over here and let them see it. At least we'll show them. It's a starting. Starting to get just a little bit, but we want it brown. See on the edges a little bit on right there's a little it? bit. It's a starting, but it's. But we want the whole thing this color right here. It's not yet got brown. So but that's exactly what they'll look like, except they'll be a little brown. And this one on the corner over here is a little brown, this first one here. Yeah. And they've dried out. It'll be a minute, another minute. They're quicker in the muffin pans, but they're not instant. But I'm willing to wait for a little scoop of dresses. <laughs> Something moved outside. A bird has flown in Maggie's airspace. Mm -hmm. She's that strict. Not even a bird can fly that she don't let them know. <laughs> and heaven forbid if another dog comes through, she'll take the door down. You think she's got that little limpy foot and she just lays around. There's a tiger in there. You just got a little sample. She'll take a door out. And then she's got this way about her. Once she tells you off, once she's called you whatever she calls us and calls the dogs and the birds, she just looks at you. And then you get one or two more little words. I mean, it's just every time. Then said, she'll like turn to, her back to you. I like to know what those few little extra words were that she didn't get in that first mess. She'll do that to me sometime. And then she'll uh, turn her back to you because she's mad because you didn't respond to start with. <laughs> like if, if she's out there sunning, and we can see her through the living room window. Now, we don't never let her out after dark, but in the day, if it's sunshiny, we can look at her. We'll let her go out there and lay, because she'll lay out there air. And we can see her in full view. But if she barks, and she'll start barking way out in the yard to come in. It's like, you better get that door up, and I'm headed that way. You better get ready, because I'm coming in. If she barks from where she's out in the yard all the way up to the door, and then she has to bark another bark or two, she's mad that she made her wait. Yeah. And then you get that extra little bark when she gets about halfway through the room and she turns around and goes, Wah! I said, don't size me. She's like that. All right, Mama. I guess we'll wait. I mean, I guess we'll let them go. We're going to have them wait just, just another shade of brown or two. No. Y'all have a blessed Sunday. Find you something good to eat. I'm sure y'all already have to eat at <laughs> 2 o'clock. Oh, yeah. Uh, find you something good to do. Get out with the family a little bit today. Make some memories. Enjoy the sunshine and the no wind. Go for a ride and see what the neighbors have done. They might have planted a flower bed or put, put one up, a up or something. Oh, that wasn't Maggie. That, that was, was another the neighbors. Dog. That's what Maggie was barking at while it goes the neighbor's dog. All right, folks, we're going to go. We're going to say happy Sunday. Happy God bless you. Mama, say goodbye. Goodbye, Mama. God bless you all. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>